Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi Beth. Shabbat Shalom, Cantor Addy. It's so great to see you. Same here. And Leo. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. I oversaru. Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Canner Addy. Can't you just feel the light of all of the people who are joining us to come and uh, and pray together? We are so glad that you showed up via Zoom or Facebook Live or however you got here. Uh, parking was no problem at all, as you noticed. Um, I wanted to just say a couple words before our rabbinic intern, Leo Fuchs and Cantor Marsha Addy lead us in services tonight. Not everyone in our community knows that Congregation Emmanuel is a very proud member of the Union for Reform Judaism. And our membership contribution to the URJ goes to so many different things, but a great portion of it goes to the Hebrew Union College that trains a lot of the rabbis and cantors who work at this congregation. And last Shabbat, you got to meet Rabbi Sarah Paris, who is trained at HUC. And this summer, we have been so thrilled to have Leo Fuchs as our rabbinic resident, um, which is a program that was sponsored by Hebrew Union College and enabled us to have Leo with us throughout the summer. This is his last week his last Shabbat, and in his time, Leo has really integrated himself into all parts of the work that we do as rabbis and cantor. He's been part of everything and taught a beautiful class, taught Torah study, developed a whole extremely exciting sixth and seventh grade program for the coming year. So if you haven't signed up for our YFE program, please do. And uh, we've just been so grateful to Leo and wanted him to have the opportunity to lead a service and again to speak to us as he did so beautifully a few weeks ago. Um, 
I do want to mention, in case he looks somewhat familiar to you pre-pandemic, that Leo and Liz are wonderful members of Congregation Emmanuel, and Zachary and Jeremy are in our YFE program. Zachary's bar mitzvah is coming up, so there's all of that. And Leo's father, Rabbi Stephen Fuchs, was also trained by Hebrew Union College, and we're so glad that uh, Rabbi Fuchs and Vicki and um, all, all of your family are with us tonight. And I just want to mention one more special group that's here tonight. I thought this was the coolest pandemic Zoom thing that I heard. Um, a very treasured colleague and personal friend of mine, Rabbi Sharon Henry, has been a rabbi for years at Road of Shalom in Pittsburgh. Sharon and I started out our first year in Jerusalem at the Hebrew Union College program, and she was just a star in our class. And uh, she decided that her congregation all summer would travel to different services that are online. And this Shabbat, we are very honored to have some of the members of Rhoda Sholem of Pittsburgh. And I'd love if you're here from Pittsburgh for you to write in the chat and just introduce yourselves to us. And we, we really welcome you. And with that, I turn it over with great pride and joy to almost Rabbi Fuchs. Uh, to lead our services with Cantor Addy. Shabbat Shalom, both of you. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom, Rabbi Beth. Thank you so much. And I just would like to say a quick word of thanks to Rabbi Beth and all of the clergy at Emmanuel and all of the staff. It's wonderful to get to see not only what amazing work with the, uh, our clergy and staff do as a congregant, but also to see how true they are to all of the work they do when we most of us don't get to see it. It's been a wonderful blessing and I've learned a tremendous amount. We're going to begin our service with uh, lighting of the Shabbat candles. For those of you who would like to follow along in the prayer book but don't have one at home, there's a link to the prayer book at the top of the chat and you can follow along there. According to that prayer book, our blessings for the Shabbat candles are on page two. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech Ha'olam Asher kitsharu b'ritzvotav V'tzivanu Lehadlik mer Lehadlik mer on this Shabbat, Shabbat Chazon, the Sabbath of vision, it's a good time to remember that the Sabbath, as Abraham Joshua Heschel wrote, is supposed to be a foretaste of paradise. We leave off the week's work of trying to control the space around us, and we enter a realm where, as Heschel put it, the goal is not to have, but to be. Not to own, but to give. Not to control, but to share. Please join me in breathing out all the worries and tasks and inbox items and breathing in full and restful breath as we welcome the Sabbath bride with Lachado D. And we're on page 20 in your Sidur. Somebody wrote in the chat to repost the link. If you scroll to the very top of the chat, you'll find the link. It's right there. You can also just go on the internet, by the way, and just Google 
Mishkan, M-I-S-H-K-A-N, Tefila, T-E-F-I-L-A, uh, PDF online, and it's the first thing that'll come up for you. transition now to our call to worship. Whether you choose to rise physically or within, let's each call each other to rise as a community with the Barhu. Yeah. 
Shema commands us to listen. Right before the Shema, we are told God loves us with an unending love, and after the Shema, we are commanded to love God. How do we fulfill a command to love? By listening deeply and paying attention to ourselves and all around us with our ears, our eyes, the hairs on the back of our neck. During the Shema, take a moment to turn inward. And then as Cantor Addy sings, Let There Be Love, we invite you to type into the chat a way in which you intend to listen or a place where you find it easier to listen or a message that you've heard. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Malkuto We offer now a prayer for those in need of healing, healing of body, healing of spirit. Please enter into the chat the names of those of whom you're particularly thinking. We include in our prayers, Susan Cole, Susanna Benningfield, Gary Luck, Frank Friedman, Barbara Felton, Althea Bernstein, Jerry Jacobs, Brittany Salazar, Herschel Ben Meyer Vegittel, Richie Gluck, Max Hyman, Gordon Radley, Charlotte Levin. healing for all of us is Shabbat and I love this beautiful text on page 44 of Hishamru it says um, those that keep the Shabbat are kept by the Shabbat it's a lovely teaching that Shabbat keeps us we usually think we keep Shabbat we observe Shabbat actually it's Shabbat that keeps us Yeah. <laughs> 
את השמיים ואת הארץ ושמרו בני ישראל את השבת לעשות את השבת לדורותם ולהיט העולם וביום השביעי שבת וינפש שבת וינפש וביום השביעי שבת וינפש I just want to lift up this one piece of Hebrew it says Shabbat Vayinafash Ovu Masoh Restore my soul Shabbat Vayinafash Oh my soul Shabbat restores my soul Aina Fash, to thank you for that, Cantor Adi, reminding us that the word for soul is nefesh and vayina fash, like we could make an English word be like to soulify, or restore our soul. We come to the Amidah, the part of the service where we normally pause for our quiet personal prayer. During the week, the Amidah is the time when we make our personal requests of God. On Shabbat, we make no requests. They are replaced with a celebration of the holiness of Shabbat. We're going to try something a little different tonight and to help us get into the space of feeling Shabbat even more. We're going to try a chant. Kaner Addy will chant quietly while we pray our own prayers. When you have finished your private prayer, please join in singing with Kaner Addy and be sure to let us know afterward if this feels meaningful to you by sending likes afterward or commenting in the chat. The traditional prayers can be found on pages 48 to 52. If you turn to page 62 in your prayer book, well, you some of you will know the words by heart, but we'll sing an Ose Shalom, a prayer for peace. It's always good to end our Amidah with a prayer for peace. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Ose Shalom, Alleluia, 
for those beautiful, beautiful, soul-ifying prayers. Muhammad Ali said that service is the rent we pay for our room here on earth. This Shabbat, we Jews begin scrambling to make rent. We begin to take account of what we have done to deserve another year on this earth. We get ready to get ready for Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Every year, we read this week's Torah portion just before Tisha B'Av, which we commemorate this coming Thursday. Tisha B'Av is the day we remember the destruction of the First and Second Temple, the expulsion of the Jews from Spain in 1492, and several other historic tragedies. Rabbi Alan Liu writes, that telescoping these calamities on the same day instills the sense that history rhymes. It is a way our Jewish calendar tells us it is the time of year to pay attention to the repeating patterns in the life of our people and our own individual unresolved tendencies and turn. Over and over again, this week's Torah portion implores us, finu, turn, and get going. Rav lachem, you have stayed here long enough. Lo ta'artsun, lo tir'un, kumu urvu. Do not tremble, do not fear. Now get up and cross over. Cross over into the promised land. At the end of 40 years of wandering on the verge of finally entering the promised land, Moses gives a series of farewell speeches that comprise nearly the entire book of Deuteronomy. Moses opens by retelling the story of the last time the Israelites were here, when the 10 spies failed us by convincing us we weren't good enough for the land. Rabbi Lu writes that Moses begins his speech this way because the Israelites are being given a second chance. 40 years before, the Israelites stood on exactly the same spot, facing exactly the same situation. And now it is time to see if they have learned anything. Will they finally get past the unconscious, unresolved elements in their lives? Like the Israelites, we too have unconscious, unresolved elements in our lives that seem to stop us from crossing over to a better place in relationships with our parents and our children, our spouses, in our jobs, and as a society, and our efforts to finally enact policies that create a level playing field for all people. When I was a first year teacher in Oakland, a friend of a friend gave me the book, The Miseducation of the Negro by Carter G. Woodson. Dr. Woodson's words alarmed me. He wrote about sincere missionary workers with more enthusiasm than knowledge who went to the American South after the Civil War to enlighten newly freed people. He was practically talking about me. 
Like them, I shamefully admit, I saw myself as on a mission to save, as trying to transform rather than to develop. I saw myself as having the valuable knowledge to pass on, and I discounted the funds of knowledge held by students I did not understand. After reading Dr. Woodson's work, the only thing that stopped me from quitting on the spot was that when I looked around, I saw too many teachers like the one assigned to mentor me who told me on my first day, these kids can't learn, just give them worksheets. I knew I could do better than that. I could convey my belief in my students. I could help eliminate the barriers that prevented them from lifting themselves up, including helping them to be literate and numerate critical thinkers. I also understood that from then on, I had to be on guard always against my own unconscious biases, lest I do more harm than good. My realization and shift was one small way I acted on this Torah portion's message. You have stayed long enough. Turn and get going. Do not tremble. Do not fear. Get up now and cross over. The Torah speaks to us on every level of our lives, to our innermost psyche and to the issues of our society as a whole. As a nation, we stand now in a precious moment of opportunity. Yale professor Emily Greenwood warns us not to let this be just another periodic ritual of being surprised by racism's deadly force, and then go back to business as usual. We as a Jewish community must reckon with the fact that too often we see the black community as needing saving. We will not get very far towards the society that our prophets envisioned until we heed Lila Watson's words. If you have come here to help me, you are wasting your time. But if you have come because your liberation is bound up with mine, then let us work together. One concrete thing we all can do is sign up to participate in a forum this Sunday at 1 p.m., co-sponsored by our synagogue and the Black Jewish Unity Group, entitled, In Defense of Democracy, Getting Out the Vote in an Age of Heightened Voter Suppression. It's designed to help us take action to oppose voter suppression, especially suppression that targets African Americans. The link is on the Emmanuel website. This is a time of reckoning. And yet this Torah portion also tells us, you figured out how to pay your rent before. You can figure it out again. Moses reminds the people they've already accomplished much, escaping Egypt, defeating hostile nations, arriving again at the edge of the promised land. We too can look back and see how far we've come. The temples were destroyed. We've been expelled from nation after nation, but we are still here. As Americans, we abolish slavery. We have a Civil Rights Act. As individuals, we have faced ourselves in the mirror before. So what's next for us? You have stayed here long enough. Turn and get going. Do not tremble. Do not fear. Now get up and cross over to the promised land. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. If you have a prayer book, we're on page 348. This is a Israeli song um, that fits your words and urges us to get going. <laughs> You and I will change the world. Yeh lanurai dvar zedonorai.
thoughts turn now to those who have died, our own loved ones and those whom friends and neighbors have lost. We think particularly of those who are willing to put themselves in harm's way that we might inherit a better world. On this Shabbat, we are in a period of Shloshim for Jerome Charles Daniel, Sumner Shaw, Andrea Trapp, Rabbi David Davis, Helen Salazar, Stella Salazar, Yonim Schweig, Alan Schneider, Margie Kumando, Jose Yanis, Evelyn Black, Larry Clark, Alice White Malson, Davida Safair, Ken Rosenbaum. Tonight we mark the yard sites of Benjamin Apelrovich, Stephen Alpert, Rose Barcordarian, Anna Barlas, Mike Braverman, Nella Brenner, Richard Brewer, Ruby Cage, Joel Kane, Ronald Chesson, Charles A. Cusick, Julius Doris, Michael Ehrlich, Lily Endre, Mark Ehrman, Albert Farber, Celia Feldman, Martha Finkler, Francis Abrams Foreman, Sophie Friedman, Norman Gotthelf, Elsbet K. Gruen, Ruth Rubenstein Hacker, Elise Lachman Holman, Marvin Gerald Isaacson, Goodwin Key, Rosa Kayak, Daniel E. Koshland Jr., Kurt Lackenbacher, Max Lessman, Brenda Lewis, Bernie Lisker, Jeanette Shenson Lakshin, Anna Smithline Magnan, Martin Mandel, Fanny Morris, Ethel Nagel, Maria Asherovich, Mendel Pevsner, Lillian Sorotkin Pincus, David Powers, Robert Rohde, Barbara S. Rolf, Luis Rosenberg, Hannah Samuels, Leonard Scheinholz, James Schwabacher, Abraham Siegel, Ellen Rhoda Siegel, Paula Simpson, Richard F. Spark, Walt Staten, Lucy S. Strunsky, David A. Susnow, Frank J. Tafaro, Laszlo N. Tauber, Helen Title, Fanny Tonkin, Sherlin, Tr Shirley Trachtenberg, Mary Vitromilli, Louis Weiner, Alex Wise, Stephen Miles Witt, Michael Wittenberg, Rose Wolf, Barnett Wolf, Paul Zittel. The Mourner's, Card the Mourner's Kaddish can be found on page 294. Yit Gadal, the Yit Kadash, Shemei Rabbah, the Alma Divra Hirute, the Amlich Malchute, the Chaye Hon, Uvyome Hon, Uv Chaye de Hall, Beit Israel, Baagala, Uvisman Kariv, the Imru, Amen. Yehe Shmei Rabbah Mivarach, the Alam Ulome Omaya, 
Yitbarach, v'yishtabach, v'yitpa'ar, v'yitromam, v'yitnaseh, v'yithadar, v'yitale, v'yithalal, shemei dekudesha brichu. Le'ela min kol birchata v'shirata, tushpechata v'nechemata, da'amiran v'yalma v'imru amen. Yehei shlama raba min shemaya, v'chayim aleinu v'yal kol Yisrael, V'imru amen. O se shalom bimromav, hu ya'ase shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael, v'al kol Yoshvei Tevel, v'imru amen. And I'm on page 625 or 321, 625 in the brackets. Adon olam asher malach v'tem We are going to uh, conclude our service with a couple of blessings. Um, and we begin with the Kiddush, which is back on page five in your prayer book. So I'm going to grab my cup. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Peri HaGafein Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshar V'metvotav V'ratzavanu V'shabat Kodshu V'ahava V'ratzon Yitchilanu Zikaron Masei V'reishit Ki hu yom tehila le mikrai kodesh, zecher litziat mitraim. Ki vanu vachata, veotanu kidashta, mikoch amim,
Chaim. Chaim. And we turn to the Motzi. These chalot were baked by my children. Before we do the Motzi, though, a couple of quick announcements. Torah study is tomorrow at 9.15, Havdalah at 8 p.m., and of course on Sunday at 1 p.m., the forum on getting out the vote in an age of voter suppression. All of the links for those can be found on the Emmanuel website. Please join me in the motzi. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, ha-motzi lechem min haaretz, Shabbat Shalom. I'm so glad that I got to lead services with you tonight, Rabbi to be, I just call you Rabbi uh, Leo Fuchs, and I'm just so glad that we're your home community and you'll stay connected with us and we love you here. So really, Thank you, yeah, yeah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Take care, be well, everybody be healthy and safe and get in touch with us if you need us in any way, please, we're here for you. And uh, we wish you a beautiful Shabbat. Be well, be safe, wear a mask. Shabbat yeah, Shalom. That's right. Shabbat Shalom. Bye, everybody.